Hello, my name is Lori Rebar. I'm a librarian at FAU Libraries, and I'm going to show you how to register for SciFinder. We're going to start at the library's homepage, which is library.fau.edu. In the big blue box in the center of the screen, we'll click on the tab at the top for databases. And then we can just type in SciFinder. This will take us to our SciFinder information. It says users must register with SciFinder. We're going to click on the register link, and this indicates what the requirements are for registering with SciFinder. We're going to register for the SciFinder web version, so I'm going to click next. Here's our licensing agreement. You must be current FAU faculty, staff, or student. And in order to use this, register using your FAU email address. So I'm going to click accept and I'll put in my information. You'll notice that some of the information asked for is optional, like phone number. For area of research, it doesn't matter which one you choose. I'm going to create a username and a password. And I will register. You're going to receive an email from American Chemical Society, CAS. And it's going to give you a link and instructions for completing the registration process. You have to click the link within 48 hours of receiving it. If not, you would have to start the registration process. Once I click on the link in the email, I am registered. Go ahead, log in. And this is the screen you'll see. If you're anxious to get started, you can click over here at the top right by SciFinder Help. And you'll see that there are help topics training information, and also what's new. You'll also see that it indicates SciFinder N, and FAU Libraries does not subscribe to that. So if you try to log into that, you will not be able to. You will just want to log into SciFinder Classic. You can now enjoy using SciFinder.